Hi everyone, Mosmo here from the Blue Root team. And today I want to talk about reports. Zoho has, uh, it's not that new. Within a year, they've released a new reporting feature within their CRM. And I wanted to go through how to set up a report properly. It can be a little confusing for people who have been on Zoho for a while and are used to another way of doing it, or just people that are new to Zoho and, and are struggling with it. So in this video, I'm gonna go through how to build a report, what parent and child relationships mean in the report, and also what inclusive and exclusive means. It, it's some details that you'll see in the video. As always, please like, comment, subscribe we love hearing from everyone and also check out our inner circle there's a link to it below or up here it's basically a all access pass to our brain at blue root we basically spent 10 years building this out where you get all of our preferred partners you get all of our preferred vendors for telephony or text message or for example if you're setting up your crm and you're like i don't know how to migrate my data or i don't know how to set up my crm properly or i want a step-by-step -step guide on how to set up desk we have all that documentation there it's a one-time feature we've got a promo going on right now check it out it's a really good resource and i'll see you in the video all right so let's get into it. So where you're gonna find reports, you can find it, it might be in your three dots here, but it's basically its own module. And so when you come back here, you'll see if you're on the newer version of Zoho Reports, you'll see it like this, where you'll see all your reports listed here with the create report button here. You may see a green button here to convert to the new version. I would recommend doing that sooner than later. All your old reports will still work, but Zoho is gonna force you to go onto the new version sooner than later. I'm gonna go ahead and hit create report. So now the first step of creating a report. It asks you to create a primary module and this is sort of different than previous when you would build reports so you'll see here it says primary module and, and it gives you a great example here so it says if you're trying to see all of the policies created for a contact in your system it may say mortgages it may say deals uh, basically this is the revenue module so they're saying if you want to see all revenue for a contact start with the contact as the primary so I'm gonna go ahead and do that so you'll see here, and if it's your first time using this GUI, you'll see that it'll have a tool tip here. I'm just gonna hit got it. But you'll now see here that it, it shows contacts as your primary module. Then below it, you can choose a child module. And so in this case, think of it like contacts is the file folder and what is in the file folder attached. So you have tasks, you have deals, you have notes, you have emails. Those can all be children of the contact. It's basically the related lists. So when you click here, you'll see all of those, right? Activities, which are tasks, attachments. And so just to give you a bit more context, Think of it like this, you go into the contacts, this is the parent record. On the left-hand side are the child, right? So you'll see here notes, activities, emails. You'll see here activities, attachments, emails, right? Anything attached to the parent, either via lookup or as a related list, will show here. So I'm gonna say, well, I wanna capture all policies. This would be deals or mortgages or whatever your revenue module is in yours. Now, what it's going through here is inclusive and exclusive. So you can see it does a, it does a really good job explaining it here. Show all contacts created with or without policies. So what this is saying is, it's gonna grab all contacts. If they have a policy, great, it's gonna show it. If they don't, it's still gonna show the contact with no policy. But you may say, no, for this report, I only want it with policies. You may only wanna be doing this report for people who you've sold to or tried to sell to. The people that you haven't, you may not wanna be in here. So this could also be used in the activity framework. So show me all contacts that I've closed activities on. Well, you don't want all the contacts that you haven't even opened an activity on, right? That's what this inclusive and exclusive means. So in this case, I'm going to say exclusive. I only want to see, you'll see what I mean. So if I hit done, now you can go a level deeper if you want. See here. And now you could grab all of the policies related data. In this example, I'm not going to go deeper, but just as a brief example, probably a common use case here would be maybe to show all contacts and their policies or deals or mortgages. Also, all the invoices attached to those deals or mortgages, right? But in this case, I'm just going to go two levels. And let's say you're going through this and you're like, oh, shoot, I actually want a level above the contact. You can create a new parent, right? And so now you could go account, down to contact, down to policy. So you could play with this, but I'm, I'm going to delete this and make the contact the parent again and hit continue. So now when you're on this page, you'll see that this probably looks very similar to the original 
Zoho look and feel. So you see on the right, they now have a preview tab, which they didn't have before. So you can see live and you can change the column sizes and all of that live what you're doing. So on the left-hand side, these are the columns. Think of it as like you're building an Excel file, right? So you can get rid of some of these. And then you could say, well, I want to add also the account name. I also want to add their email. And I also want to add maybe the policy name, right? So let me grab that. And by the way, you can search here. So you can go policy name. You can also filter by this or filter by the module, right? So now I'll hit done. And so you'll see now in the preview, bring this way over, you'll see here, full name, account name, email, policy name. So that's how you build out the file. It's really intuitive, way better than it was before. Now you can add groups. So you can add row groups and column groups. So I'll show you both. So maybe the row group will do it by owner. So we'll say group it by the policy owner. There you go. So you'll see what a, a row group is now. So it's now going to group the policy by owner. So if I'm in a, in a CRM that only has one user, but if you're in a CRM that had many users, it would say Tom Smith 10. For example, if he has 10 policies, Jane Smith 5, right? You could also column group. And so maybe I do this and hit account name. So now you'll see what this is starting to do. So you'll see Tom Smith has insurance agency A, and within that, they actually have one policy. It depends. You may not want to do both of these. And to show you what it looks like with just one, you actually have to have a row group before you can have a column group. So basically what Zoho has done here is they've allowed you to make matrices here, which previously you would have to make a new report in order to do. Now you can do that all here. Lastly is the aggregate columns. So basically what this is, is any number field, decimal, currency, whatever, anything you can sum, you obviously can't sum a word, but you can sum numbers. You can sum average, max, min. So a common one is like summing the amount of the policy, right? So if I hit done, you'll see here on the right hand side, well, it was a, let me just open up this. I'm going to create a few policies just for this demo. I'll pause it for a sec. So now you can see kind of what the aggregate looks like, right? So it's now summing. And just to show you with the row groups here, I'll go by owner again. And then uh, I'll hit done. And so now you'll see it'll sum it, but then it'll also say for Tom Smith 10,000. You can also do column groups, as I said, by account name. So now you'll see this account insurance agency A has 10,000. You can take out some of these subtotals. So now you'll see insurance agency A has one for a sum of 10,000. You could play with this quite a bit. It's a way more advanced report builder. Now, if I go to filters here, this is where you actually tell it what to show. So you may say, well, I only want to show the policies that um, closing date is before or after or whatever, right? So you may say this fiscal year, you may say next fiscal year, whatever. So you can have some fun with this. And this is just like normal workflow, which you can see the link there or normal views. We have another video on that. This is just normal logic in Zoho. Probably the unique thing that Zoho just recently brought out is you can actually say the value here, right? So you could say is this day or is greater than this day, but you can also compare it to a field. You could actually say is before a certain field in the CRM. So you could say, show me anything that is before the created date in the CRM or something. So you may have relative filters like that. That's a very new feature that they have. But yeah, that's basically the new report functionality. The key takeaways are the parent-child relationship. If you ever get confused, just go to a record and be like, okay, I'm in the parent account. I wanna see the policies, that's a child, right? So th that's a good rule of thumb. And then the rest is pretty straightforward. So. I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, please like, comment, subscribe. I hope to see you in our inner circle or in our office hours. Have a good one.